I was thinking yesterday uh, night about the model and uh, decided to include productivity losses and consumption properly. So we will do some more preparations here. I will add two rows and I will write productivity losses and consumption. So it becomes a proper model. So at the moment we had uh, productivity losses included here as an annual uh, productivity loss. This is a very rough way to include it in a model. Of course the productivity differs by age and we don't only have productivity loss as a societal cost but also uh, consumption, most of it non-healthcare consumption. So if we look at the model structure we have the healthy individuals they are fully working no productivity loss but once they enter here they will have full productivity loss but the, uh, out here they will have consumption when they're young 40 50 it will be high production low consumption but as they grow older their production will decrease and the consumption will increase and with age they also have higher risk to be in any of these states where there is no production, uh, high healthcare costs, and then with age also high general uh, consumption, non-healthcare consumption. So let's do the preparations for productivity loss and consum consumption um, depending on age. And I prepared this. This is data from Statistics Sweden. It's income, uh, taxable income for different age groups and this is uh, times 1000 Swedish crowns and it says that this is the sum of um, uh, income from uh, work and business so um, and um, this income consists of um, all um, incomes that has to be uh, taxed which is income from employment, um, business or self-employment, pension, sick leave and other transfers that are taxable. So this is a problem because we don't want to have pension, sick leave and transfers in our estimate of production because this is not uh, productive um, actions. But this is the best data we have and at least it says here that this income here doesn't include income from capital. So it's not the perfect data, but it's the best that we find in Sweden at least. So I will use these numbers here. Over here I have the data for consumption and this is from a study by Ekman et al. Uh, consumption and production by age in Sweden, basic facts and health economic uh, implications. And this is from a dissertation at Stockholm School of Economics. Uh, this one is from 2002 and the costs are from 97 so we will have to inflate the costs to 2014. And here we have different kinds of consumption for different age groups. So these are young, uh, healthcare, pharmaceuticals, primary and hospital care, dental care, social services, different kinds, education, school, university and so on, general public consumption, and other private consumption. And we will sum this up and see that the consumption is going to be high until uh, here somewhere, decrease and then again at high age increase a lot. And I also prepared a consumer price index to inflate the consumption costs. This is also from Statistics Sweden. We have year for each month but we will use this the mean for uh, each year. So let's start with the um, um, productivity losses. So what I want in the end is a table opla, with um, age and the consumption, uh, pro productivity loss, sorry. Age and prod loss, this is what I want to have. And let's make this um, dark gray. And we have from 20 years up, I 
thought we had even lower, 16, 19. Okay, so well, our model starts at age 45 anyway, so I go from 20, 21, up to, um, uh, it's enough to 65 actually, that's gonna be the pension age. 65, and I will freeze the pain. and remove the grid lines. And we had one more row. So that's the age, and here we're gonna have the prod loss. Um, let's add some more columns. Um, okay, so first thing, we could just put in the right numbers here, times thousand. So uh, 20 is this one times 1000 and I will lock this with F4 and I want this to show uh, a 1000 separator. So this is going to be until 24 years of age until here, and I do one more, 25, and I just drag this one down. So we see it increases with age. 30 is the next one. Ah, I want to have all the rows 11. So uh, 30. And next one is 35. Hmm. Okay, it disappeared. Next one is 40. Then 45. Oops, that was one too much. 50, 55, 60, and let's see, we do um, 65 too. But then we stop, we see the income continues because a uh, pension is included. We will stop at age 65, which still is the official age of retirement in Sweden. Uh, all right, uh, so this is um, prod loss, and then we will add the social fees plus social fees, and we can add this social fee somewhere. Uh, social fee. Uh, this is in Sweden zero point thirty-two forty-one. I have to check the input data. Uh, thirty-one forty-two. So this is added on the income, and the employer pays this as well. So we have to add one plus the social fee times this here. Uh huh. And I need to lock the social fees, of course. I double click to fill it all the way down. And um, yeah, and then we're done. But I want to have, I'm going to make this into a table and I'm gonna put in an if statement, so if we have society perspective, report this, otherwise zero. And I'm gonna add this one here. So, um, to model. Uh, and let's see, we had uh, this one here. So if this one is healthcare payer, perspective is one. We're gonna use that. Prod uh, loss. So, um, if 
perspective is one. I want no productivity losses. Otherwise, I want this number here, including the social fees. So now it's zero all over. But if we switch to a societal perspective, we get the productivity losses. And I will name this to um, table prod loss. These two. So I select the whole thing and formulas define name table prod loss. And I will remove this, this here, and I will start with deleting the name. I had C annual prod loss, delete, yes. And I will take these three away. Now we have the prod loss here instead. Mm -hmm. And just check increases with age, then decreases towards uh, age of, of pension, retirement. Could take away some here. Uh, okay, then let's go to the consumption. This is the raw data we have. I will color this gray. I want all rows to be 11 and no grid lines. Um, but I would like to have also freeze pane. Okay. So similar here, I want to have um, age uh, to model and uh, consumption. So we're gonna do in a similar way. Ah, everything should be nine too. And here it starts from age zero, so let's do that. Up to um, 110. Control home to go back up. Uh, all right, so uh, let's start with s summing up here. Um, and I will take away this one and this one. So here we have the kinds of consumption and I will add sum up everything except these two uh, healthcare consumption because we already have healthcare consumption here. So I will take everything except this healthcare consumption. So non healthcare consumption and this will be in uh, Sick ninety seven. It's gonna be this plus this plus this plus this plus this one. I just drag it out, and then I want to inflate it to two thousand fourteen. And now I need my consumer price index. Uh, consumer price index. And it's enough I have this data down to 97 and these here. So I'll copy these numbers. I will add them out here. I will take away the months. And then I need to calculate the ratio between this and this. So the prices have increased with 20%. This is the factor I'm going to use to inflate. 
so I take the total non-healthcare consumption times this one and I will lock it with F4. And I double click to check, yes, it's the correct numbers being multiplied. All right, uh, maybe I will add the ages actually down here as well. Easy to see. I don't need all. All right, now it's just to put these numbers in uh, this table. So age zero, it's gonna be this one until age 19. until age 20. Then we switch to a next category and this is until 34. So 35 is gonna go here and next one is down to 49. So 50 until 64 65 so here we see quite high consumption and the last years here very high consumption so this until 74 75 uh -huh, now there was something wrong let's see okay I need to add this one down um, what am I doing okay so 65 150 75 next one and then um, until 85 is gonna be the same for the rest. So these are very high cost. Annual cost of 260,000. So this will be a cost of survival. All right, and then to model, we do the same if statement. If perspective is one, we will only have healthcare costs, so zero costs here. Otherwise, I want the um, D6, yeah, the consumption. And um, let's see, I take away the societal perspective and we have zero. And I will call this table consumption. And I will name it as well. Define table consumption. Okay, so that was the preparation for productivity losses and consumption. One way to include it in the model is to take the difference between production, so production minus consumption, and include the net in the model. Uh, I will include production as a productivity loss. And, um, and then consumption as an additional cost. And this will give the exactly same results. I'm used to do it like that and it's just, just because. So let's make this gray now. And now we can start with building the Markov model.